Hello, 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 everybody here is Dr. Wild again talking about different topics on science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hmf.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wild which topics do we have? Research, community education, care delivery hours, and achievement. The article to review today is fluorine brings deep travel, flux exacerbated by climate change, deposit disease and distress. It starts when the water dries but it doesn't end there. Flux take life accounting for about half of all death related to natural disaster around the world each year. Greater is still at the effects on survival, physical and mental health which can last long after the water recede. Fluorine is by the far the most persuasive risk of climate change. A state on June 2022 articles in natural communications, climate change has been up more frequent and fierce hurricanes. It helps fuel other storms that don't record breaking river bank bursting rains like those that inundate Kentucky, Missouri, Montana, and Texas this summer. Rising sea levels worsen stop surges and turn ordinary high tides into coastal floods. According to a 2013 review in disaster health, flooding events doubled worldwide from 1997 and 2006. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind everybody that we do mostly days these beautiful reviews. I continue striding with this review. Areas that traditionally haven't experienced flu are going to experience them, including every coastal city in the United States, says Patrick Van, and a Harvard Medical School assistant professor of emergency medicine at Brihanna Women's Hospital and director of research at the Harvard Humanitarian Initiative. Many emergency health systems are not ready to cope with the type of disaster. Major disasters have enormous mental health effects. You lost loved ones, your job, your house, your community and way of life are gone. Depression, anxiety, uncertainty about the future is a scary stuff. While some people in flood path and endure by slowly the rise to die from drowning, the highways and also on the health of course in the days with some sometimes cures that follow. Healthcare providers can and help reduce the long-term suffering by understanding the range of potential flu really illnesses and being prepared when they encourage them into their clinics. The list of illnesses, not surprising. Flu water are usually pretty picking up everything from sewers and animal waste to industrial pollution and to disease causing organisms that flourish in warming seas, lakes, and rivers. Waterborne bacteria, viruses, parasites can infect the skin, eyes, lung, gastrointestinal tract, nerve, and other organs systems of those exposed to contaminate flu waters or whose food or drinking water becomes compromised. The incidence of diarrhea, respiratory, soft tissue, and systematic disease, sun, meal, and other life treating often source after fluids. People may similarly fall ill if they touch or ingest toxic materials in fluid waters. Mosquito-borne disease can also follow at the insect with standing water. An outbreak of well, Nile viruses occur in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005. have to be open mind about bacteria and waterborne infections in terms of understanding that what may see things in place we haven't seen them before, said Regina Larock, a Harvard Medical School Associate Professor of Medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital. It is very important to take a good patient history. A cruel, the most underappreciated health consequence of flu are not physical but psychological. This is a particularly true of high income 
home country says in 2017 paper in Lancet Planetary Health Clinicians and researchers have documented 12 in depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, substance use, suicide and violence after floods. The incidence and severity of mental illness tend to rise with more severe and longer lasting floods. By banking notes, the experiencing repeat smaller flu events can reorder mental health and quality of life too. Ronald Kerfle, the McNeil family professor of healthcare policy and Blackney Institute at Harvard Medical School, contributed to our understanding of flu driving mental illness through his long term war with people who survived by Hurricane Katrina. Major disasters have enormous mental health effects, he said. There is potential for permanent damage. You love loved ones, your job, your house, your community, and way of life are gone. Depression, anxiety, uncertain about the future is a scary stuff. land use and population grow further increase the potential for flu to damage life each year. Tens of millions of people worldwide love their homes to flooding according to the 2002 National Communications paper. Displacements can drive refugees which brings it all set to health risk. Nor are people need the experience exploring themselves to feel the effects. Politic report in 2017 that depression and anxiety can spread to those who are repeatedly exposed to news about flooding on television or social media. But flu infrastructure and behavior affects health as well. People may not be able to access health facilities to manage chronic conditions. Using generators in power up there rises the risk of carbon monoxide poison. Catering in the mass evacuation shelter can drive infection disease such as novovirus and COVID-19. Influence throughout the packed shelter after Huracan Harvey inundated Houston in 2017.